Welcome back, adventurers. On the previous episode of Saving RuneScape, we managed to obtain the best-in-slot wand and orb in the game due to our immense luck at Zamorak and Karapak, leaving the only upgrades left for us to achieve best-in-slot magic gear is the Magma Tempest Ability Codex, which is currently around 900 mil, and the Elite Tectonic Tier 92 Power Armor Set. Without further delay, strap in, grab your wand, string your bow, and let's go on an adventure, homie. We are here at Armadil God Wars, smacking up Kriara a little bit with my buddy. It is actually his first couple of kills here, and I wanted to help him get his Reaper assignment done. Hopefully we can get spooned and get him an Armadil armor piece. Ah, uh, well, I guess we're never lucky. I think we need to go and try out something new. I've been wanting to learn the Elite Dungeon 1 Temple of Amnishi, so I think me and one of my homies, Wolf, are going to go knock it out. So this is literally the second time that I've been here. I only came here once before for the Reaper title, the one where you have to kill one of every single boss in the game. But personally, I think we have this in the bag. I'm really not even sure which direction I'm supposed to be going, but you know what, we'll just kill stuff until we find the first mini boss. Alright, so we found the big giant scary crab man. Let's see how it goes. So, I seem to do decent, but unfortunately my homie wolf left some bones on the ground for me to get some prayer experience. All joking aside, I'm super proud of Wolf. He came back to this game about six months ago and has made such big gains, including unlocking invention. And he has some of the best ranged equipment in the game now. I know he's been working hard saving up for the Greater Ricochet Ability Codex, but I'm going to tell you guys a secret. By the end of this episode, we're going to help him make his upgrade to Greater Ricochet, which is currently on the street worth right around 1.3 billion GP. Surprisingly, we managed to make it to the final boss of the dungeon. Seer Yu, the Azure Serpent, was released on the 25th of June, 2018. He is the final boss of the Elite Dungeon 1. He has been slowly corrupted and poisoned by the Black Crystals, infused with the power of the shadowy god Zhao Tak. He has a variety of drops, but most notably he is camped for the Ancient Scale Drops, which can be some of the most consistent money in the entire game. These scales are incredibly valuable because they are used to make the Tier 92 Ranged Power Armor the Elite Serenic set. Now that we've completed the dungeon, I think it's time to get back to working on my Loot from 250 Carapack video. If you haven't already, please be sure to go check that out, as it was an absolute banger. We made a ton of cash, we ended up getting a Fractured Stabilization Gem, a couple of Scriptures of Jass, and even a Greater Concentrated Blast Ability Codex, and we made just under 2 billion coins during that video, which was plenty of cash for us to purchase our Magma Tempest Ability Codex and a full set of the Elite Tectonic Armor. Which means it's time to go and test out our brand new best in slot magic armor at no other than the Dragonkin Laboratory. I look absolutely sick rolling up in here with my 120 Slayer cape, my new Golden Carapac pet, and my awesome Elite Tectonic armor. I have my perks on screen as I have close to best in slot currently on the Elite Tectonic armor. But until I get Impatient 4 Devoted 4, I'm going to be using Impatient 4 Dragon Slayer, which is excellent at the Dragonkin Laboratory, due to its ability to give you up to 7% damage increase on Dragon enemies. It was pretty great here, but I want to try it out at something just a little bit harder, so I think I'm going to go to Zamorak. Alright, so that worked out pretty well. After I got used to how much more damage I took, it ended up being pretty good. Just finished up an Araxor kill with my Elite Tectonic. I'm not going to lie though, I think I'm still going to prefer my Crit Bloom armor at most places I go to. The damage reduction that it offers is just pretty awesome. And I like to be a little more chill when I'm doing stuff. For example, I I managed to pick up a Cyware wand drop the other day while AFK editing and Crit Bloom is just awesome. So I think I want to start camping some Carapac for another staff piece. I've been pretty lucky in the past. I want to try and help my friend Wolf get his Greater Ricochet Ability Codex. And he's been saving up a little bit of cash. But I want to try and give him a billion GP so he can get that knocked out. I truly do appreciate the people in my life who support me. 
and I can't wait to give back. So I finished my thousand kills for the Golden Care Pack pet two weeks ago, and I've been trying to make a billion GP for my friend, but I haven't gotten a single decent drop in over two weeks. I'm over 20 hours of Care Pack dry, and I'm dry everywhere else as well, and I really hope I get this knocked out soon so I can start on some different content. One hour later. Well, finally it turns out Guthix heard my prayers and pleas for help. On kill 1271, I managed to snag a fractured armadillo symbol. I'm pretty sure currently this is the least expensive piece, but it's worth well over a billion GP still, which is exactly how much I need. I was talking to Wolf earlier on Facebook and he had mentioned he had saved up around 400 mil so far. So we're going to go surprise this noob with a big old pile of cheddar. I feel like one of those TikTokers who record themselves giving money to people, but I actually look at this as an investment in the future of the game. This man inspired me to start this channel and has done a huge part in making RuneScape awesome for me and other players. And as a content creator, if I can't put my money where my mouth is, I'm not doing anything to make this awesome game even better. I truly hope you appreciate this small gift and token of my appreciation, Wolf. Now that we've got that sorted, we of course need to go and test out my dude's new machine gun ability, and I can't think of a better place than Carapac, of course. And we're going to be having a special guest come with us to celebrate this momentous occasion, good friend and fellow content creator, Yoni. Go check him out, he works super hard at his craft, and I only keep company with true adventurers. Friends and family, as always, I can't express how much fun I've had on today's adventure with you. If you had a great time today, I humbly ask that you hit that like button and subscribe as we are currently just over halfway to monetization. I would also greatly appreciate if you left a comment to let me know what I could do better. With that being said, I love you dearly, thank you so much, and I appreciate you going on this adventure with me today.